We have a pretty sky out there, don't we? A lot of clear sky out there this morning. Sun up in a little while. 708. We have a cold temp. We're at 13. We were 15 last hour, 13 now, and the new number comes in at 7 o'clock. We'll probably be down another degree or two, and then we'll probably only come up into the lower 20s this afternoon. So much colder day. Look at the wind, though. It's actually gone calm over the last hour or so in Springfield and in the Valley. The wind will pick up and be a little brisk, though, today, that it's going to keep wind chills in the single numbers and teens. So teens and lower 20s, if you remember yesterday at this time, we were in the upper 20s and actually got to 39 degrees yesterday afternoon. But now that colder air continues to drain in. It feels like it's zero in Springfield, one, I'm sorry, Pittsfield, one in Worcester. Clear skies, just a few little thin clouds out there, but sunshine is going to prevail today. So we have plenty of cold air in place out ahead of our storm system that we're expecting to affect us on Saturday. So as the kids head to the bus stop, we're in the teens as they're heading home. Temperatures will be in the lower 20s, and again, there'll be a bit of a wind as well, making it feel colder. But on Nor'easter, here's the latest, here's the thinking. It looks as though snow develop after midnight on Friday, so going into Saturday morning. So if you have Friday evening plans, aside from a few flurries or maybe a touch of light snow, we're pretty much good to go. It wouldn't be till Saturday. That's when we have the peak of the snow. I think it's, it starts to ramp up around sunrise on Saturday. It'd be 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That would be the peak of the storm system. So we're talking about the potential for moderate amounts of snowfall. So yeah, moderate amounts, not a big deal. Just kind of like normal snow, uh, snowstorm for us. However, there's still the possibility that we could be talking about major amounts. This is going to be a powerful storm system. It just comes down to the exact track where those heavy snow bands set up. It looks as though it may line up more so off to our east in terms of the major snowfall amounts but we're still three days out. But that's what it's kind of trending here, and it'll be less to the west. We'll have a gusty northeasterly wind. Either way, I think winds gust 30, 35 miles per hour. So any snow that is falling has the potential to blow around, and it'd be cold as well with low wind chills. So some blowing and drifting of the snow possible as well. Our area of low pressure, it comes out of the Gulf. It forms off the Carolina coast. There's nothing out there now. You look at it, and you wouldn't say, where is it? It hasn't developed yet. It's going to develop off the Carolina coast, and then it's going to make its way up the eastern seaboard. And as it is doing so it is going to strengthen so if it takes the westerly track which is further and closer to the coast that would lock the heavy snow bands in for us so we'll be talking about big snows uh, there would be a lot of wind with that as well and we could be talking about over a foot of snowfall that would bring a mix along the shoreline and along the coast but they'd still have substantial snow if it takes more of an easterly track where it's tracking out over the ocean and a little bit too far to the east to give us major snows here in Western Mass, but we'd still get significant snows. There'd be some wind, and of course, we'd still have to contend with it during the day on Saturday. As the storm system is moving away, it's really blowing up into a monster of a storm, and the wind will be with us Saturday night as we go into Sunday. So the potential for 12 inches of snowfall, the greatest potential right now, I would think, would be Worcester, the Boston area, the Cape and the Islands, and then you get out in the Cape and they have some mixing. Here in Western Mass, we may be right on the western edge of those heavy snow bands, but it's still several days away. So easily we could be talking about higher amounts here in Western Mass. And then just the theme is that the further west you go, the snow totals would go down. And again, this would be happening during the day on Saturday. The leading up to it, no problems. Today, tomorrow, and Friday, plenty cold enough today, but the cold's actually easing a bit. 26 tomorrow afternoon. 32 on Friday, mostly cloudy Friday with a few flurries as a weak cool front begins to move through. That front's actually going to try to grab the storm, capture it, and bring it up the eastern seaboard. Highs today, though, cold, about teens in the hills, lower 20s in the valley. Factor in a little wind, and it's going to feel a little bit colder. Then tonight, the wind goes calm, and temperatures will tumble down to around zero, if not below. But we do bounce back in the afternoon. And Friday, fairly comfortable. The wind is light, lower 30s, and that storm system races up the coast on Saturday with the potential for that snowfall. It's gone by Sunday, but the wind lingers. All right, that's your forecast.